plan here on Grady's Mom. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. I know most of you guys know that normally each week I post a grocery haul and a meal plan for the upcoming week. I do that a majority of the time, I would say, usually every week or every other week. Um, but this week I'm going to do a little bit something a little bit different. So I am going to share with you my meal plan using my Carrie Al meal planner. I get tons of questions about this. Um, if you want to see a full review on this, if you're new here, down below in the description box, there is a video link to the full review I did on this. Also, if you're looking to purchase one, you can go to, um, again, the, web, the website and all the details will be down below, but it's carryl.com. Um, and she has all different meal planners as far as covers and prints. And if you want to save 10%, you can use my code Grady's Mom. So, anyways, in this video, I want to share my meal plan. I don't have a grocery haul to share with you this week because my parents were visiting last week from New York and they drove down. So, they brought two huge coolers as well as a huge bushel basket. They have a huge garden and they really did stock me up. They brought me meats, they brought me breads and bagels and tons of veggies from their garden because the meats and the bagels, I can't get those down here because I'm in South Carolina. So instead of showing you a grocery haul, I wanted to share with you guys all the things my parents brought from New York down here. Um, we froze all the veggies and we did all sorts of different things and I wanna just share with you that because those items, a majority of them are going to be used in some way, shape or form in my meal plan for next week. So, if you guys want to see what my parents brought and how we froze everything and all that good stuff, just keep on watching and I will include the meal plan for the week after that footage. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, so we are in my garage. I have a full size refrigerator in here as well as a deep freezer right there which we will get to. So. In this freezer, as you can see, there's several different things going on in here. So, my, again, my parents brought a ton of veggies. They have a huge organic garden, um, and they brought a huge bushel as well as other things in the cooler. So we did a lot of things um, over the weekend when they were here. So all, all right, these two bags um, here is organic, organic zucchini um, that we just washed and sliced and prepped. I can use these in all different recipes. I think there's more somewhere, but these are two bags here. And they also brought a ton of tomatoes. And what we did was um, we you put the whole tomatoes right in a boiling pot of water. The skin peels off really easily. So these are whole cored tomatoes. So to use these, I just have to thaw them out cut them up and use them for whatever I want, whether that's marinara sauce or soup or chili. So there are quite a few of these. There's more in my deep freezer, which I'll get to. So we have, I think there's four big bags in here. Again, there's whole tomatoes. I believe my mom said there's like six-ish whole tomatoes per bag. Again, they're all skinned and cored and just whole and ready to use for recipes. So we've got the fourth bag here. They also brought two kinds of green beans. So they brought the regular green beans that we are used to seeing. These were just blanched and shocked and frozen. And we did them in portions. We're just a family of three, so we didn't do like a huge bag. We just did them in a way that would make sense for our family. So I think that there are three regular green beans. So these are regular green beans. And then they also grow Italian style green beans, which are much, much, much skinnier. They're super skinny. Um, again, these were all blanched and shocked and frozen. So there are, I think, four bags um, of the Italian green beans. So again, they are all set. I use green beans just as a side dish. I can use them in recipes. They're just great. Let me just put this stuff back real quick so we can move on. So this freezer is looking pretty good. Um, my mom also made a marinara sauce um, with turkey meatballs. It also has sausage in here. Um, and this is a pretty good sized container. There's quite a few meatballs and pieces of sausage. So this is her homemade sauce using the tomatoes she brought. Um, and this is frozen. This is a whole meal for us. I'm probably going to have this this week because I just love it so much. So I'll just make some pasta with that. 
And then in here, this is a glass dish. This is eggplant parmesan. Also, the eggplant is from my parents' garden and all the sauce and everything that she used to make it is from the tomatoes from her garden as well. I'll probably save this eggplant because um, it's like a treat for me. Those who follow me for have been following me for a while know that I love my eggplant parm. So that I'll probably save for a rainy day when I'm really craving it. This I'll probably have this week, again, homemade sauce. She also made um, some homemade pesto. So this is from her garden. This is just in a small little glass jar um, and she makes excellent homemade pesto. So this is a real treat for me as well. And I think that's everything in this freezer that they brought. Let me move on to my deep freezer now. Okay. So this is a bit of a mess. I do not, I didn't really plan anything out. I'm just going to kind of wing it here, but my mom brought, my parents brought this is a huge loaf of real New York Italian bread. We just wrapped it up in bags to prevent any freezer burn. So I'm not going to unwrap it, but it's a huge loaf of bread. And there's actually two, I think, yeah. So here is the other one. It's just seeded, nice, crusty, New York style Italian bread, which is like a major treat for me because they don't have that down here. Um, they also brought me four bags of New York style. I don't even know if it's, it's just from New York, but you can't get this same exact sausage here. It's just an Italian pork sausage. Um, they get it at, I believe, like a meat market or in a, like a sausage and yeah, I think it's just a meat market um, up, at, up at their, near their house in um, upstate New York. So they brought me four bags of sausage. I believe there are seven, it looks like seven. Um, I think a couple have six, six or seven sausages in each bag. So this is one. I don't know if the other two are hiding in the bottom here or they are in my house freezer. So they brought me four bags total of New York sausages. Um, they also brought me, you guys know I love my Jimmy Dean um, pork sausage. So they, this was like a two pound tube of it. Um, and they just cut it in half, so it's one pound each. So they brought that. I know I can get this here, but they just brought this. I think they got a good deal on it. Um, so they brought that. So I've got two pounds of Jimmy Dean sausage. Um, let me move some stuff around. Here are more tomatoes from um, the garden. So there are, geez, I think there's one, two, three, four more tomatoes in here. They brought me two dozen New York bagels. So here is six of the two. We actually ate six, so there are a dozen and a half left. So here are the first six. These are everything bagels. And then in my house freezer, in the inside the house, I have onion bagels, six onion bagels. They do separate them. So there's like six everything, six onion, six plain, that kind of thing. So here are the ones I'm hoarding. More tomatoes. Um, they brought me chicken. There are three breasts in each of these, and there are quite a few of these. Let me see if I can grab the rest. Here's the other chicken, and here's another chicken. Again, there's three in each package, three chicken breasts. And these are, I believe, from a local farm near their house. So they are just farm-raised chicken breasts. They also brought pizza dough. Um, I know you can get frozen pizza dough or fresh pizza dough everywhere, but this is just what the dough that I grew up on when my mom didn't make it homemade. I, f I think it's from a place called, uh, I think it's from a grocery store in New York called Price Chopper. We don't have Price Chopper down in the South, but I grew up going to Price Chopper. So my parents just bought these pizza doughs fresh and we froze them down here. So there are three of them. Here is another one. And there's another one hiding somewhere. Um, and I think that's everything. So as you guys can see, they brought me a nice variety of things. Um, I don't ask them to do this. They just enjoy doing it. And I, of course, appreciate it because I really don't have to buy groceries this week. Um, I just have to get cold cuts for my husband's lunch and just filler things like eggs or cheese, you know, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what my parents brought from New York, and I'm gonna go ahead now and share with you guys my meal plan for the upcoming week. Okay, a meal plan for the upcoming week, which is Sunday the 19th through Saturday the 24th. Can you guys believe September is already more than half over? So one night I'm gonna do, like I mentioned, my mom's leftover sauce with the turkey meatballs and sausage. It'll be super easy. I just have to thaw it out, 
put it in a pot, heat it up. I'll make some penne pasta. I'll make a quick salad and I will probably take out one of those loaves of Italian bread in my freezer, maybe even cut it in half. Um, so I want to make it last as long as possible and heat that up as well. One night we're going to do sausage and roasted peppers. I'll use the sausage my parents brought from New York. I'll also do some roasted potatoes. I might even do it all as a one dish meal. So put the sausage, peppers, and potatoes all in a baking dish together. A little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, really easy. I'll make a fresh tomato salad with basil. My mom brought tons of tomatoes, as you guys saw, and there is about a dozen extra from her garden. Nice big tomatoes. So I'll make a tomato salad. One night we're going to grill up some chicken. I'll just do a simple marinade. I have several different marinades I can use in my fridge. We'll grill them up. It's supposed to be a little bit cooler this week. We used to grill all the time, as most of you guys know. But it's just been brutally, brutally hot down here this summer. So it's supposed to cool down a little bit, like into the 80s this week. So I'll pick like one of the cooler nights and we'll grill. I will also throw some sweet potatoes on the grill with the chicken. I'll make a simple rice pilaf and then I'll probably make some green beans um, from my mom's garden that we froze. One night I'm going to do some sliced pork. I actually have some boneless um, pork chops in my house freezer. So I will just thaw those out, slice them up, um, cook them up. I'll make some sautéed cabbage with some Granny Smith apple inside the cabbage sauté with some onion, and I'll just make some mashed potatoes. I have a ton of mashed, a uh, ton of regular potatoes and sweet potatoes to use up right now. Uh, one night I'm going to use one of those pizza doughs to make a stuffed bread, which is kind of like a calzone bread. My mom calls it garbage bread. I will put some broccoli, some ham, and some cheese in there because I have all three of those things. I'll make a tossed salad, and then I'll make loaded sweet potatoes, which is just a baked sweet potato. I put brown sugar, butter, and marshmallows, and it's super delicious. So I will make that with the stuffed bread. One night we're going to do BLT sandwiches. I have some packages of bacon to use up. So I'll use one with BLTs, and then I'll make some french fries in my air fryer. I have a huge bag from BJ's of the Cascadia Farms french fries. They're like the shoestring fries. I'll do those up in my air fryer. Sunday, specifically football day. I love football season. I'm going to make my stuffed jalapenos. I do have a cooking video for these a from a long time ago, but I will link that below. They are so delicious if you like things like jalapenos that are spicy. But I will link that below. I'll make taco salads with it and chicken quesadillas with it. I do have a chicken quesadilla video that I filmed. It's super basic and easy. My son loves them. Um, but Sundays during football season is when we do a lot of munchies, crock pot food, dips, things like that. Um, I might do a whole video on like football food because I know a lot of you guys, even if you don't like football, you know, get invited to football parties and stuff where you have to bring a dish. So I might do like a football food video down the road. So this is my meal plan for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of different style video. I will be back next week with a normal meal plan and normal grocery haul. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.